At SPES, I have learned to think on my feet and look at things from different views. I not only have a strong sense of self, but I also look at, at other people's cultures and appreciate differences. You know, you can have knowledge, but unless you have the skills, you don't do anything with that knowledge. And the last thing I think I leave SPES with that I've, str I've struggled with for a long time is, I believe, is the desire to learn. We were the first group of students to graduate from Central Park East Secondary School. It was a brand new school really modeled after Ted Sizer out of Brown University and his sort of vision for what schools should look like and um, partnered, he partnered then with Deborah Meyer who fought tirelessly to get this thing going and so we were the first grade and uh, we started in 1985 and 1991 we were the pioneer graduating class. We didn't have all this in place though in the fall of 1985 when we began the school. We began with 70 or 80 seventh graders and we have grown now to a school of 450 students. It wasn't just a place we went for a few hours a day and then had adults that told us you know stuff and then we went home it was like it was an extension to me, at least of my family life, and another, another set of adults that, that raised me. How important it was to be seen and have someone work with a solution with you instead of condemning you for bumping heads with another personality. I think a lot of schools talk about student voice and that being important, but there was a way in which it was absolutely a part of the like fabric. So this is a picture of Shirley and I. She was a Caribbean you know, teacher, educated in, the, uh, in Jamaica, and she died about four years ago. Um, but it's a photo that, um, that just like brings me joy. I almost don't think of SPES as like my education. It's almost an extension of my family. I, I don't see it as like just a separate entity. It's, it's a part of who I am. It, it helped shape me in a sense as much as my, my mom did and my sister and my family. I very much credit my early experiences at SPES uh, as sort of setting the groundwork for what I think about and how I think about the world. I happened to be behind Debbie walking up the steps one day and I can't remember what grade I was in, eighth? ninth, something like that. And as she was walking up the, every flight of steps, she kept picking up garbage that was in the hallway. This is demonstrating a, a leader who sees this as a community that she's invested in. I did talk about some of the different um, goals that I saw the school had and how the school kind of accomplished those goals. And I felt like a lot of them were about kind of trying to make people you know, become these citizens of the world. I very early on had a vantage point that was like, oh my gosh, and we, we would see cameramen, we saw reporters coming around. So I very early understood that the adult world was paying close attention <laughs> to this Central Park East School and they wanted to understand these, who are these pioneer kids and what is their experience. I went to Wesley and I went to TC. Oh, Wesley for undergrad, TC for grad. Um, and I have a degree, an online degree at Middlesex University in London. I talk about SPES more than anything. There's spaces around the world, around the, around the, around the New York space setting that do things really differently. Let me tell you about them. 